Welcome to day 159. We're in Ecclesiastes, finishing Ecclesiastes 11 and 12, and then back to uh, Kings. Um, uh, at the end of Ecclesiastes, the last part of chapter 11 and all of chapter 12, it does get into the point of saying, enjoy life again. So um, that was a common theme uh, throughout um, the book of Ecclesiastes. So Chapter 11, 9, and 10, young people, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in, but remember that you must give an account to God for everything you do. Then it says, so refuse to worry and keep your body healthy. Refuse to worry. Keep your body healthy, but remember that youth with a whole life before you is meaningless. Um, and you got to work. <coughs> Excuse me. Then in chapter 12, 12 through 13, but my child, let me give you some further advice. Be careful, for writing books is endless and much study wears you out. It's not possible uh, to uh, read all your books. I have a, a study over here uh, with lots of books and library, and um, you, you can't know everything. You can't. Uh, just try to keep track of all the people in politics. You can't know them. You can't know it all. God is in control of everything. You got to trust in him. You, otherwise, you're just going to worry yourself to death. That's the whole story. Here's now, here now is my final conclusion. Fear God and obey his commands. For this is everyone's duty. God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. Every secret thing. Everyone sins. So all that is going to be laid out to bear. Luckily, Christ washes all that away. Um, which is wonderful. And then, so Solomon's time it comes to an end, and Rehoboam and Jeroboam, Rehoboam as his son, takes over for Judah, uh, takes over um, the clan of Judah as king, and uh, pushes everybody else away. Jeroboam comes from Egypt. <coughs> he escaped there earlier. To there earlier, now has come back because Solomon's uh, gone, and he takes the rest of the Israelites as his constituents. Okay, so that was all foretold earlier. So <clears throat> it can get kind of confusing about your kings and stuff. So you might want to start a list of who's doing what. Rehoboam is in for Judah, covers Judah, and Jeroboam covers the rest of the Israelites. But here is what happens: Jeroboam's afraid that he's going to lose everybody back to uh, Rehoboam. So he does something really dumb. 1 Kings 12, 28. So on the advice of his counselors, the king made two gold calves. He said to the people, it is too much trouble for you to worship in Jerusalem. Look, Israel, these are the gods who brought you out of Egypt. So you may not have thought about this, but that's two times that the Israelites made gold calves. Made a golden calf when they came out of Egypt and got in trouble. And now here we are. They're fighting against each other, about to start fighting against each other. And uh, so um, they make gold calves to worship as well. But Rehoboam and, and Judah, they worship in the temple in Jerusalem. So that's your day 159. Things are going to start heating up after this. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow.